The GOP presidential race is underway, but will it be a competitive one by the time Alabama's primary rolls around in March? WDHN State Capitol reporter Matt Beer Temple is in Montgomery, where she heard from the state GOP chairman about his expectations for how this primary season shapes up. Former President Donald Trump won both the Iowa caucuses and New Hampshire primary by more than 50% of the vote. Candidate Nikki Haley says she's staying in this race, but ALGOP Chairman John Wall says he expects that may not be for long. Wall says if Haley loses her home state of South Carolina, Trump may be the last one standing on Super Tuesday. Even with Trump the likely nominee, Wall says it's important to let the primary process play out. We still have an active primary. Um, I, I think in all intents and purposes, the, the election will be over. Donald Trump will be the preemptive nominee, but that process still has to continue. And the voters, you know, Republican primary voters across the country will still make that decision of who goes to the convention as delegates and who votes for our nominee in July. Wall says he wants Alabama Republicans Republicans to know that voting in the primary is important and there's more than just one office on the ballot. We're looking forward to a high turnout and I'm really looking forward to hearing who they want to see as our nominees, not just for president, but also down ballot in these congressional primaries. Political analyst Steve Flowers predicts Alabama Republicans to vote resoundingly for Trump. The former president won this state by more than 62 percent in both 2016 and 2020. Because when they get Trump in Alabama, Trump's going to do very, very well in our primary. And uh, if he got 52% in, in Iowa, he'll get 72 in Alabama. Now the nominee will officially be chosen at the Republican National Convention this July in Milwaukee. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.